What? Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm actually awake in this video. <laughs> yeah, she's always <laughs> asleep on all the other videos. But I really don't sleep all the time. It's just... I don't know. You just always video me then. Well, anyways, we're here to make a video about... <laughs> Britney Spaniels or American Britneys, as so we've been informed in the comments. Yeah. As a disclaimer, <laughs> we are not breeders, we're not experts, these are just our opinions based off of what we've experienced, so. Yeah, you've had Britneys no your whole life, comments. haven't you? Yeah, growing up we always had um, a Britney. And now we've got two pups. we got Rooney and Piper. Okay. Yeah, well, Rooney's a boy. Piper's a girl. Which makes for an interesting mix. Yeah, right now they're out running around tearing up the garden. But we have no intention of breeding them either, so. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, that's interesting. But anyways, we got a few questions here that I'm sure everyone's wondering, you know, around the breed that is Britney's and how, how well they do as pets. So question number one, do Britney's make good house pets? Why are you asking? <laughs> I don't okay, know. Uh, I would say yes, they they do. Um, they're kind of crazy. So, Rooney, he is seven, probably eight months now, yep. and Piper is um, just about like three months. And so, <laughs> they're a little crazy right now as puppies. But honestly, for where we live right now, we don't have a very big backyard. We're planning on moving soon, but. Um, for the little amount of space that they have to run, they are really good. Yep, they definitely, uh, they're definitely they definitely very loving dogs and they they, uh, they aim to please. Yeah. They they like to, uh, you know, if you, if you get on to them, they get pretty upset. Yes. <laughs> they just wanna, they just wanna be, you know, make you happy and all yeah. that stuff. They're generally pretty happy dogs. So definitely, yeah. definitely make good house pets. Of course, a lot of people, they, they use them to hunt and yeah. they leave them outside, but they do they do just fine in the house. So question two, you can ask me. <laughs> okay. All right. Brandon, are Britneys affectionate? Oh, yeah, yeah. They are, they are. They're very affectionate, <laughs> actually. Uh, Rue, he, he does not like to sleep unless he's cuddled up to either me or Allie or even Piper. They yeah. love to cuddle. Mm -hmm. They are about the most affectionate dogs because I've had I've had several different uh, dogs, different breeds, every one of them. But Britneys definitely are by far the most loving. Yeah. They uh, pretty much, you know, they're like most puppies. Though when you walk in, they they uh, go crazy and want to see you. But crazy. <laughs> just in the fact that they just love to be cuddled up and they they like to be pet. Piper loves her belly rubbed. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, Rooney likes to crawl under the covers under the bed. I've he never seen that. a dog do that. You think they get hot, but no, he loves it. I think it makes him feel like comforted, like safe. But he he adores Piper when he sleeps. Like they have kind of like a love hate relationship right now. Yeah, I think a lot of it's kind of like jealousy for attention. But we're hoping that gets better over time. But. Rooney, I we, we actually just recently got a furbo for as a Christmas present. Um, and so if you guys don't know what a furbo is, it's a dog camera. You can like it's like a two way video. Yep. Or not two way video. I guess it's two way talking, and we can see what they're doing. I'll put it on the screen right here, covering Ali's face. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, you can like send treats. Like it pops out, and we can like talk to them and tell them like, hey, stop. But um. Occasionally while I'm at uh, work, I will check in to make sure they're being okay. And actually just the other day, I, I saw they were sleeping and Rooney had his like little arm around Piper like this. Like he was, <laughs> like he was uh, you. cuddling her. It was so sweet. I don't know you. But uh, yeah, they're just, they're honestly such sweet dogs. They, they just want to be loved and they grow to be like a medium sized dog, but yet they think their lap dog, uh, lap dogs course, yeah. fully. Like, yeah, and they're good with other people too. So like if we have yeah. guests over, they're not territorial at all. They just, they want to meet. If you're friendly with them, then they're going to be friendly with them. 
and so the same with with kids um you know we had we had uh rue and piper around around cade he cade. loved them yeah cade. yeah <laughs> yes so they do well they're, they're they're very loving dogs very yeah. uh affectionate you turn, oh, sorry. you turn my questions off. Yes. I get okay, to ask no. you this one. All right. Are they well-behaved slash trainable? Yes, yeah. I mean, they're hunting dogs, so I think that makes it a good indicator that they would be because you would need to be able to train them. But um, it also kind of depends. I mean, like, you know, kind of like with humans, they each have their own personality. Ooh, and yeah. so... Yeah, I mean, some, honestly, I feel like are smarter than others. Well, and... see, uh, Piper Piper likes to get into a little bit of mischief, but the funny thing is, <laughs> Rooney knows what's good and what's bad. So, Rooney, yeah. if Piper's into something that she's not supposed to be, Rooney will get mad at her yeah. and growl or bite her <laughs> leg if she's doing something that, that, she knows is, that he knows is bad, which yeah. is hilarious. I've never seen... Dogs really do that, but I guess that's a that's a good quality. <laughs> it is. Have. It is. I think, like, I'm always kind of like surprised when he does. I'm like, yes, good job, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, Piper. They're motivated by smells and food. Yeah, that's a. So if you if you want to train them, train them with food, and uh, you'll. Yeah, you'll but definitely. honestly, uh, I Piper's been a little bit easier to train in some aspects just because she watches Rooney, but um. Rooney being the first dog, when I was training him, he, it was probably about like four months when like I was able to actually, it like finally started Before to sing. Before you him. understood English. Yeah. They, they, they speak dog <laughs> for the first couple months, <laughs> so, but English <laughs> starts to be learned. So for yeah. probably about like four months, he uh, started really understanding. He would sit before, but he finally started understanding the commands for like sit, lay down, um, stay, that sort of thing and Piper has kind of slowly started picking that up a little bit quicker than he did but he actually was very smart from the very from the very beginning yep. he knew to pee on a pee pad he knew pretty much kind of to go to the door and whine when he needed to go Piper not so much That's she'll go to the door we call Rue King Rue <laughs> Piper will go to the door <laughs> she so can hold it. She just chooses not to. She doesn't whine. She just pees right next to the door. <laughs> She'll learn. Yeah, it's just gonna take some time. <laughs> yep. All right. Next question. Do they? Do? <laughs> okay. do they do well with other dogs? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. They, yeah. They do very well with other dogs. We take them all over the place yeah. to see my parents' dogs my parents. and to see her parents' dogs, and they do great. Yeah. Um. Well, love to play. Yeah, they love to play. And it's not so much that they don't do good at all. That's not it. Um, I just think they, he does. They both do better with your parents' dogs. Well, with Ellie because she's a little bit younger. How yeah. old is she? What? Two? One or two? 24 months. Something of that such. So she's still really young and she wants to play. My parents' dogs, they are older. And yep. so. 82 months. <laughs> Old, old, and so um, Rooney, he being a puppy and Piper, they like to nip still. And well, Lily's not, not even a, a dog. Lily's like a rat you'd find in New York sewers. <laughs> she's not. She looks like a she looks like a big old varmint. Uh, she, she's a little bit tank like <laughs> on <laughs> legs. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Uh, what's their activity level? Hi. Yep, they love to they run. They need exercise. And that's honestly like our biggest problem. I really, I wanted a dog so bad. We finally got a house that we could have a dog. And I I knew we probably weren't going to be staying here long. And so I really should have waited to, for us to have a bigger yard. They have a back area space. Why well, you answer this? I'm going to go um, get the dogs. They have a back area space that they can play in. But... It doesn't have grass, and so a lot of what they're wanting to do just to get their energy out is dig. So that's probably our biggest problem right now. But, um, yeah, so they need lots of exercise. We, in the fall, while it was nice out, we were taking Rooney on walks every single day because he he needed that. And it honestly, actually, <clears throat> was super beneficial. It helped um, his leash skills and just walking it's a good skill to kind of learn early on. Piper, she's not getting that as much just because it's winter and it's really not fun to go walk when it's 
30 degrees. <laughs> oh my gosh, babe, they're muddy. <laughs> this is rude. No. He's a lot muddy. <laughs> Digging, I would say. <laughs> all right. It was just muddy in general out there. Uh, all right. Well, it's a good thing you went and got them. All right. Now they're they're playing. So they do have high level. What's the next question? Hygiene. Of energy. Oh, hygiene. Oh yeah. Rude brushes yeah. his teeth. I mean, he has whiter teeth than me. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Yeah, he does have really nice teeth, but what they do... Yeah, we're talking about you, buddy. They, uh, they have a lot of like rubber toys that they like to really chew on. I think it kind of helps clean everything. But they shed a lot. They shed a ton. And honestly, it's one of those things where the dog breed is just... They're so sweet. Like, they're just the best dogs. So you just kind of get over that and just look past that because it's worth it. Why are you in the little cage? <laughs> <laughs> so we have that little crate. So right when we first got Piper, she was really tiny and Rue was kind of aggressive with her. So we we wanted her to have, but she didn't want to be alone. She wanted to be with Rooney. So we wanted her to have like a little area where she could kind of get away. But now Rooney has taken it upon himself to always go in that crate. I don't know why. What's their temperament? They got, they're very kind dogs. We kind of answered that with how affectionate are they. Yeah, he's, he's And then, licking. do you, <laughs> what are you, oh. They're crazy. Do you have to hunt with them? You don't have to hunt with them. A lot of people do. They're bird hunting dogs. Um, and I, I would say that they probably love it. Honestly though, Rooney, he is. He likes squirrels. Yeah. He, he wants to hunt with squirrels. And birds. He started yeah. to notice them more, but. Honestly, he is pretty skittish. He, he gets scared so easily. He's such a big baby. So honestly, I don't even think he would like the noise of the gun. So I think it just kind of depends yeah, on your dog. Yeah, you'd have to start training him pretty early, gun training. Yeah. But see, you did good at talking on here. What? I said you did good talking on here. What are you talking about? You're a natural. I guess so. <laughs> Talk most maybe, of the time. Maybe you shouldn't always get me while I'm sleeping. <laughs> I'll put you in more videos. But yeah, hopefully that helped you all with five. Oh, was that all the questions? Yeah, that was all of them. There's eight. <laughs> eight. Eight questions about Britney's and a little bit of bonus. And honestly, if you want to know more, um, I there's lots of Facebook groups out there where we're in a Facebook group um, that there's probably like, there's thousands of members and everyone like goes on, posts pictures of their dogs, their mm -hmm. puppies. But if you put something and, that people don't agree with, then you'll you'll get attacked. Yeah, there, that's so. probably true. But you um, can get like some answers there if you have lots of answers, or like lots of questions that you're kind of unsure about and want answered, like maybe like types of food, um, just like specific toys, harnesses, like all kinds of different things. There's a, a range of, um, questions that people ask out there and it's a good source to go to because there's a lot of breeders in there um and just people that have had dogs for like 30 plus years so um so definitely look into that if you're really truly considering getting one um your foot's in the camera sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um also that <laughs> <laughs> I would also encourage people to check out like, subscribe to Jar. <laughs> I would encourage you guys if you're looking for a dog, um, <laughs> you can get them from a breeder. That's what we did um, because we wanted puppies. But probably, like I would say, like our next, if we do in the future, far to the future, um, maybe just like look at the rescues. There's quite a few mm -hmm. rescue groups for Brittany specifically. Um, the National Brittany Rescue is a good one. So just look that up. That's a good option as well. They're getting antsy over there, so we'll cut the video short. But um, anyways, <laughs> make sure you uh, like and subscribe because there's gonna be pre plenty more content on uh, Rooney and Piper and maybe some more Britneys in the future.